Hi, I'm Ron Lund, and today we're going to do a video about voltage checkers. It's not exciting, but try to stay awake because it's very important. So the first thing I did is I checked the voltage of a battery using a benchtop voltmeter that's been calibrated. So the voltage coming from it is on the money. And then I plugged in the voltage checkers to that same battery and compared them. Now I'll be reading off the voltages and you'll have them at the top of your screen so you can compare them and we'll see how it goes. Now well, here we go. Number one, 3.86. Number two, 3.92. Number three, 3.90. Number four, 3.86, number 5, 3.96, number 6, 3.88. That was this cell spy. This is the Venom. Cell 1, 3.81, 3.86, 3.88. Three point eight nine, three point eight three, three point eight six. Uh, this one, it didn't work. I'll explain later in the video uh, about that one. This is the BM six cell one three point eight one eight. 3.858, 3 3.858, 3.838, 3.875, 3.860. Capacity controller. Cell 1, 3.805. Cell 2, 3.857. 3.847. 3.848. Cell 5, 3.865. Cell 6, 3.858. Not too good. Here's the Hyperion EOS Century. This is one of my favorites. Cell 1, 3.816. Cell 2, 3.863. Cell 3, 3.860, cell 4, 3.848, cell 5, 3.876, cell 6, 3.864. That's pretty good. Here's the Fataba. Cell 1, 3.812, cell 2, 3.861, cell 3, 3.858. Cell 4, 3.846. Cell 5, 3.872. Cell 6, 3.857. That's not too bad. Here's the high tech LiPo checker. Cell 1, 3.82. Cell 2, 3.86. Cell 3, 3.87. Cell 4, 3.85. Cell 5, 3.87. Cell 6, 3.86. This is the JR. Cell 1, 3.816. Cell 2, 3.863. Cell 3, 3.860. Cell 4, 3.845. Cell 5, 3.870. Cell 6, 3.861. That is very accurate. Now we're going to do the uh, nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, this is showing it's got 52%. Remember that because it doesn't. This is the Fataba. We're checking the nickel metal hydride function. And it says it's got 7%, which is not too far off. 
I don't think it's really got 7%. And now the uh, Hyperion Century. It says it's got 11%. It must be putting some kind of load on it inside the checker. That's kind of what I figure. Now the JR. Now the JR has got a button you can push that will put a load and it's 300 milliamps, if I'm not mistaken. But just for a brief time. But watch what it does to the voltage. <laughs> the, the capacity goes to zero, which is correct, because this 4,500 milliamp nickel metal pack, I did about a 10-minute charge on it. And it normally, at the rate I charge it, it would take 16 hours to charge. But after pressing that button three times, the voltage dropped to 4.94, uh, 4.93, and going down fast. So if you put this battery in your helicopter, you would crash. I wasn't going to rank these things, but I feel like some of them are so bad that they deserve to be at the bottom of the heap. And we're going to start off with the worst of the bunch. You can find these on eBay for about 96 cents if you search for 2S, 8S voltage checker. You'll see them for around a buck, buck and a half tops. So they're cheap. However, they're not accurate. And I bought 12 and only four work. And that was a while back, but only four work. And I was using one of those to make this video. And during this final edit, it quit working altogether. That's why it's not included at the uh, other end of the video. and But while it was working, it was very inaccurate. So it does have a little buzzer that buzzes, but you gotta be careful when you set that value because it could be either too low or too high. It's, remember, it's not accurate. So this one goes at the bottom of the heap. It looks a lot like the uh, Venom Checker, but the Venom Checker is appears to be uh, better quality. The soldering looks better. The Venom's on the left here and the uh, the other one's on the right. And the soldering on this unit is just not very good. Of the ones that worked, this is the worst. You can find them on eBay for about a buck and a half, two bucks, but they're very inaccurate. In some of my earlier tests where I totaled the error, this thing was off a quarter of a volt. And when you're talking about LiPos, you're only talking about from 4.2 volts to 3.7 volts, which is a half a volt. Well, this was off half of that, so I don't recommend this one. I don't recommend this one. It is cheap. You can find them on eBay for a few bucks, but this is clearly a uh, knockoff of the Hyperion design without the guts. You know, it's inaccurate. Even the silk screening is sloppy. The uh, nickel metal hydride and ICAD feature is, is dangerous. I don't recommend it. The high-tech LiPo checker is, uh, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. It's comfortable in your pocket. It comes with a thunder power adapter, which you will lose. Um, and if you leave your pack plugged in, it'll balance it very slowly. But it's only good for LiPos. The Venom is okay. It's 
comfortable to carry in your pocket. It's reasonably accurate. This particular uh, unit was a little off on cell four, but not too terribly bad. I mean, overall, it was pretty good. Um, and they're cheap, about seven, eight bucks, maybe. The BM6 is accurate. I don't like the fact that the pins are exposed and it's not available. So that's that's a big con. The Fataba is good. It's expensive, 50 bucks. The nickel metal uh, hydride and NICAD feature seems to work pretty good. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's very accurate. Uh, reasonable price at about thirty thirty five dollars. The only problem is we can't get them. And JR BC five eighty is clearly the best of the bunch. It's the most accurate. The nickel metal NICAD feature really works by putting a load on the battery. And in the case of our battery today, it proved itself. If you have an eye charger, you can just plug your battery into the balancing lead and it'll report the voltage of each cell. It's very accurate. And in addition, it shows internal resistance while you're charging. So you can keep track of the health of your batteries. Now, I think I'm going to go smash a voltage checker. Please subscribe.